What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC. I'm prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So, I just want to come on here today and go over my thoughts on a few knives that were sent to me by Dennis uh, from EDC for fun to check out. Uh, you know, see what I think. Use them for a couple days, and uh, you know, then just go over what I think of them. So he sent me uh, three knives, and I don't want to hold on to them too long. So I want to, you know, know he's gonna want his knives back. Can't keep them forever. So, so I just want to go over the uh, the knives that he sent, so I can get them on back to him. So the first one is the uh, Luft Concepts Avant. So I like this knife, right? So this is uh, M390 Micarta wire clip, hollow grind black uh coating on it uh ball bearings i like this knife actually <laughs> actually i really like this knife i like it because it's got a very small flipper i don't really i'm not a fan of flippers because they kind of kick around in the front and they push your hand way back here you know but this one is so small and you know you can look at as you can see you can barely see it so when it comes around to the front boom it's not even there but i do feel like i want to every time i use it i wanted to choke up like this like kind of you know what i'm saying like feels like your your hand is still too far back i mean that's my fault because i'm like a james brand dude now and their knives are like super ergonomics and i turn into this weirdo like ergo guy but i mean when i was using it i felt like i just could choke up a little bit like even though you probably shouldn't but i just feel like my hand rests better in this look this this kind of you know configuration but this is an absolutely awesome knife i like that one a whole lot now the next one i have that he sent me is this one everybody knows what this one is this is a spicy chef so what do i think of that i actually he sent me this one because i said that i actually like the spidey chef and i use um a lot of my knives for food prep and this is obviously a knife that was made for edc and for food prep so figure he's sending on over to me um it's got that uh lc 200n steel nitrogen and rich steel there a uh, nitrogen's um one of those elements that you add to steel to uh increase its hardness and also its corrosion resistance it kind of acts like uh carbon and uh it's good stuff to put in there so super corrosion resistant it was actually invented by nasa too so got some space age shit right there with this um obviously great knife for food prep it's got that big belly right there pretty decent too for um right here for using for like utility work and get into opening packages and stuff if you have to it's got the titanium uh frame lock I like it. I'm not really a big frame lock person for some reason. I don't really know why. It's got bearings in there, I believe. Uh, not really sure. I think there is bearings in here, but you never know. Um, so yeah, I like that as well as tip, you know, tip up pocket uh, carry right handed. I think you can switch it. Uh, yeah. So really cool way that the clip is made kind of like a wire clip in the sense that's how wire clips usually go in there. So I think that's pretty cool too. Um, I think this is a Lynch Northwest clip. I think he changed the clip. Uh, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, super cool. I like it a lot. I like that. Uh, that's a great food prep knife. Really, really good. And like I said, I use my knives for food prep a lot. It's got good action. Spidey hole got it down. I can't freaking spidey flick to save my life. So that's not something that's going to be happening anytime soon. Um, and then, last but not least, is CJRB Pyrite button lock. And I like the shape of the blade. It's super utilitarian. Um, I'm not really sure about this button lock, though, man. I mean, it seems kind of, like, just listen, like, metallic, like, tinny. Like, you know, I, I'm just, I don't know. Button locks aren't, like, the safest locks to me anyway. But I do like the blade shape. Um, I think it's ARPM9. It's full flat grind like that. Um, not really a big fan of totally stainless knives, though. Um, they're just slick in my hand. I mean, this one's not, like, horrible. It's got the jimping back here. I did have the, uh, the Rook p801 and that was a total stainless knife but i ended up like using a using it as a giveaway item for uh a giveaway that i did and i think uh life with edc won it so i'm not really like that dude like you know what i mean for stainless i mean it looks great and everything it's just i don't know it just there's something about this knife that seems cheap almost like you know what i'm saying that's just my my uh opinion on it so from top to bottom, seriously, the three, the, the, how I like them the most. I like the Avant the best. I just really like this knife a lot. And then I like the Spidey Chef. And then the least of all, I like that one. Um, so if you look up price for this, this is like around 300 bucks. 
Um, but it is M390, you know what I mean? So uh, there you go, that's why. <laughs> and it's put together really well. Um, it's just a really decent knife. I like it a lot. Um, then the Spidey Chef's like the same, 284, 290. Uh, but again, awesome steel, uh, really put together well. And uh, titanium and all that good stuff, so that's why. And then I think this knife, I'm not really sure. This might be like 50 or 60 bucks, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I mean, it's a good user. It's a budget knife, whatever. I just, I'm not a fan of button locks, nor am I a fan of totally stainless handles. So that is what I got going on with these knives. But they're all decent. I mean, they're all usable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people love button locks. Not a fan. I'm not really a huge fan of frame locks either, but they're pretty much metal liner locks, I guess, I suppose. Um, but that's a really good knife, and I like it. So i like to shout out to Dennis from EDC for fun and thank him for and uh, thank him for getting this together and sending these over to me so that I could use them. I absolutely appreciate that, and uh, I will send them back as soon as possible.